Who knows all the countries in the world or even knows the basics about all these countries? In this small series, I would therefore like to give you an overview of the countries of the world. This includes a brief overview of the most important data and the political system. Today is about Albania. The official name of the country is Republic of Albania and I of course will not pronounce the name in the original language because I will definitely make it wrong. So Republic of Albania. The state form or the form of government is a parliamentary republic. The head of state is President Ilya Meta since July 24th in 2017. Representative of the head of state is the chairman of the parliament Gramos Rucci since the 9th of September 2017. He's from the Socialist Party. And the head of government is Edi Rama, also from the Socialist Party. He is that since uh, September 16th in 2013 and was re-elected on September 13th in 2017. The foreign minister is Gen Chakai and he has been that since the 23rd of January 2019. On the Human Development Index, Albania is on 69th place. Until 1990, Albania was the last bastion of Stalinism in Europe, with the student demonstrations in the winter of 1990-1991, a process of change began. A multi-party system was introduced in December 1990 and the first free elections took place in 1991. The main goals of the Albanian government are reproachment with the EU and implementation of the necessary reforms. Albania is currently in a reform process that aims at EU membership in the long term. In addition to combating drugs trafficking and smuggling and organized crime, judicial reform is of central importance. The core of the reform is what is known as vetting, which is intended to ensure an independent and professional judiciary. The most important parties are the Democratic Party and the Socialist Party, which until now alternated between the governments. The third strongest party is the Socialist Movement for Integration that emerged from the Socialist Party. It provided the coalition partner in 2009 and 2013 under DP and SP-led governments. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel and my other channels. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich!